I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. He watched. That's all you could do. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. And so I, I made this massive Spectre Goon movie, right? Like, that shit's almost an hour and a half long. It is absolute gold. But as you can imagine, something that long takes a lot of time to edit. So that will drop tonight. But I was thinking of videos to drop in the meantime. I'll probably stream later, too, and run, a, run it up there. By the way, smash the like button if you haven't already. And I decided to go ahead and talk about the most important hood in comics, right? And I really want this to like open up to a discussion in the comment section as well as my Discord, if you haven't joined there already. What do you guys think is the most meaningful slash impactful hood in comic book history? doesn't even have to be mainline comics like Marvel or DC, just comic books in general. What do you think is the most impactful hood? For me, first that comes to mind, there are, I will, I will concede several come to mind. Like there is a goat list of hoods in comics, in my opinion. But the first to come to mind for me is honestly Yancey Street. So today I'm going to be talking about Yancey Street, why it's the goat of all hoods, and why honestly it deserves to be in the movies or shows. To kind of give more of a story around the idea of Yancey Street, this this hood is made most famous by the likes of Ben Grimm, of course. Why? Because Ben Grimm from the Fantastic Four made it out of the hood. In fact, According to the Yancey Street Gang and uh, some of the stories, Ben Grimm's the only kid that made it off the block. As in, everybody kind of stays there. No one really leaves Yancey Street. It's almost like this brutal, almost like a purgatory. You just don't really escape. You're just there. And Ben made it out. Now, did he have to turn into a giant fucking space rock guy? Sure. But he also was tough enough to make sure he put himself in his, a position to be around people like Reed Richards, you know? He made it out the trenches. These trenches forged one of the most iconic characters in comics. Now, on top of being not the most economically blessed situation on Yancey Street, they straight up have some of the biggest menaces in existence in the form of the Yancey Street Gang. Now, this historical gang does not give a shit. When I'm telling you they beefed with everyone, they've bullied Ben Grimm. That, like, I'm talking about when he's the thing. Like, they, <laughs> they put kick me signs on him. They throw shit at him. They have him, like, throwing those massive New York gar garbage cans at them. Like, trying to kill kids. Because they're that ruthless, right? Like, they're absolute menaces. And there's this one time that, you know, the thing showed up looking for someone that went missing. And the gang's like, yo, real shit. Like, we didn't do anything to them. The, this, We've been on the block, you know? Like, what's the vibes? And Ben's like, look, man. Like, I'm just here for a friend. Kid went missing. And they're like, oh, someone snatched our boy? Oh, we got to handle that. And the thing's like, all right, I'm going to roll with y'all. And they're like, yo, you think you're rolling with all. The truth is, like, we're going to make a play regardless. You can try to keep up, but we're in our bag. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. He messed with gang, bro. Like, he's going to he's gonna die. They're so true to what they do, bro. They're so beyond the rap shit that one of the kids took a vow of silence. A vow of silence because his sister became a cop. That is some wild street shit. This is the street that has spawned the likes of Ben Grimm. Now, to kind of let newer readers know, or, or like, you know, just people that have been more so inclined to read modern comics. Ben Grimm is one of the most important characters in Marvel history. He's a part of the Fantastic Four. This is pretty much the royal family of Marvel Comics. Like, this is the family that was used 
to explore the many different cosmos and areas throughout Marvel Comics, essentially establishing the cosmos through the many adventures of this family. And who was the muscle of the group? The one that always showed up to put hands on whoever regardless, even if they thought they were literally fighting God like Galactus. It was Ben fucking Grimm. And where did Ben Grimm come from? Yancey Street. This notorious street is so problematic, so chaotic, right? One time the Fantastic Four went down Yancey Street, they got blitzed. They got jumped. <laughs> they got shit thrown at them. They got overwhelmed. They could do nothing, right? And they had to scram. And they had Mr. Fantastic yelling that the locals were going crazy. Like the natives were restless. And that's how wild these boys are in this street. They're in the trenches. They don't respect anyone outside of it. And if you're from there, you better stay there. And it's such a dark, you know, harrowing environment that Ben grew up in that really forged him into a hero that is unafraid of anyone. Because guess what? He's seen it all on Yancey. He had ops before it was cool. Like, that shit is crazy. And it really helped forge a legacy for him and forge how tough and charismatic he really is. Now, this gang's also done wild shit like saved the fat Fantastic Four from Molecule Man and told them like, yo, we saved you because real shit, like, we're the only ones that bully you. Like, we can't let y'all get folded by other people. That's that's chaotic. <laughs> that's just this crazy. And, and the last thing that really makes what I believe ENC Street such an important hood, even Stan Lee, rest in peace, even he acknowledged it. Stan Lee, for the anniversary of Marvel, decided to write himself into the comics, right? Made him made his character Stan Lee. Began traveling throughout the comics, you know, exploring his creation. And at one point, he accidentally got lost and found himself on Yancey Street. And he was so horrified, so terrified, and so sure... He was not going to make it out of there. And I just thought that was funny because in a way, Stan was paying homage to that street. You know, the significance of Yancey Street. Its toughness, its edginess, its craziness. The fact that it'll chew up and spit out anyone. It doesn't care who you think you are. It doesn't care who you really are. It just knows it's Yancey Street and you can't step here. And that shit was even glorified and highlighted by Stan Lee, which I thought was amazing. And he would go on to meet Ben Grimm in the alleys there, who would save him from there and take him out of there, warning him of how dangerous it, it really is. And in a way to, you know, thank Ben Grimm, he said, you know, you're one of the most important characters in comics history. Like you're one of my, my prizes, like one of my greatest creations. He was like, I am more than happy to change your story so you're not some rock guy that's miserable because you've done so much for Marvel. And Ben Grimm looked at him and said, Yo, Yancey made me. This shit made me. I am who I am. I get bitches because of it. Relax, Stan. Like, I'm good. Stan was like, damn. Yancey Street and Ben Grimm really are just the coolest things ever. And that's the truth, man. In short, this is the realest hood ever constant goon moments whenever you read about it join my discord server if you want to learn more about yancey street i'm more than happy to drop hella yancey street moments on you send you scans or whatnot obviously you see them in the video but yeah in my opinion this is the greatest hood to ever exist in comic books it's just amazing storytelling it's produced the mo one of the most iconic characters in comics um Someone that was actually born there. Say what you want about Batman. This is going to be controversial. He wasn't born in the trenches. He wasn't born in the hood. He's fucking rich. Ben Grimm's really from the trenches, okay? So, but anyway, hey, hey, Batman fans, relax, relax. Still hit the like button. Still lick the, like, just hit that shit. I almost said lick. God damn, I can't speak today. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a very fun video to make. Super excited to get you guys the Goon movie 
or slash the goon run on Spectre 1992. It's a chaotic goon moment filled story. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's one of the greatest videos I've ever made. Hopefully I get it out tonight. I should get it out tonight. I'm excited for y'all to see it. But yeah, it's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. I'll see y'all later. Peace.